So congratulations to everyone who survived 2016, you made it to 2017, and Microsoft has wasted no time in declaring this the year of the Scorpio. Now the new Xbox isn't expected to be here till later in the year, so we've got a lot of waiting to do, but I wanted to throw out some things that I think Scorpio needs to do in order to be successful. I don't think just making an Xbox One that's you can say runs higher resolution is going to fly off the shelf. So Microsoft has got to do a lot of things and here is what I would like to see. So we know that Microsoft is marketing this as the most powerful console ever created. Uh, they've even fired shots at Sony claiming that the Scorpio is built specifically to do native 4K and not this checkerboard rendering that Sony is implementing in many of its games in order for it to say that it can do 4K gaming. Now the PS4 Pro can run some games at native 4K, but right now it's sort of an anomaly and not the standard because most games definitely do not run at native 4K. But truth be told, I don't think a lot of people care. The checkerboard rendering that PS4 Pro is doing looks just fine. There's not a huge difference between that and native 4K. And most people at this very moment simply do not care about 4K gaming. Even if you look at the statistics on PC where 4K has been around for a while, very few people actually play games at 4K resolution. Uh, even me, I've got a rig that I just built. I showed it to you, I believe the last video that I did. Uh, I could run 4K games if I wanted to, but I'm actually leaning towards buying a 1440p monitor with a high refresh rate because there's really not that big of a difference between 2K and 4K resolution. And I always prefer, as I've told you many times before, higher frame rates over higher resolution. So 4K might be a good slogan, but I don't think it's going to sell a whole lot of systems. Uh, most people don't have 4K televisions. Uh, and of course, Microsoft is simply looking at the future because if you do go buy a new television, it's going to be 4K and then you're going to have a console that's ready to do it. But right now, I don't think that's going to be the selling point. But they have got to appeal to the people who don't have 4K. And one of the must-have features for Scorpio, as far as I'm concerned, is you got to have 60 frames per second on every single title. I think that's an absolute must. Even if it means simply putting in an option where users can lower the resolution in order to make that happen. Because I am not going to buy a quote-unquote premium console in 2017 to play games at 30 frames per second. Uh, that's just not going to fly. Also, something else that needs to happen is game load times on the consoles is still absolutely horrendous. And the way that you deal with that is the Scorpio needs to have an SSD in it, uh, which should be the standard hard drive. Uh, they're coming way down in price, so it shouldn't be that difficult to get this in the machine. The next thing, and I guess this is probably the biggest thing with any console, you can have the most powerful console in the world, but if you don't have games for it, then it's pretty much worthless. So going forward, uh, we do know that Microsoft is going to make all the 360 backwards compatibility games available on the Scorpio. Uh, so it's going to have, you know, a starting library with it. But you got to keep on delivering AAA experiences that aren't simply Forza, Gears, and Halo. Now, I am liking what I'm seeing so far as far as 2017 goes. They've got Sea of Thieves, Scalebound, Crackdown 3, uh, real-time strategy game Halo Wars 2, State of Decay 2. So that trend definitely needs to continue. Uh, but they've still got a lot of games in their library that they own that we haven't even seen on the Xbox One. So they need to be distinguishing themselves with their lineups because that's what we're all ultimately here for is for the games. Next, Microsoft has been teasing mouse and keyboard support for Xbox One for a while now. Uh, we still haven't seen that. So if Scorpio comes along, it should definitely be an all-in-one machine. And I think you should have the option of using your console like a PC attached to your TV. That's kind of like what the Steam machines were going for, but they totally screwed up that launch. Uh, I would still think that's a good idea. Let it run Windows. Uh, let it be able to stream your PC to your Xbox. This is really something that should be also doable on the Xbox One as well. Uh, but with the Scorpio, I think it's a must-have feature. We've also heard that Scorpio is going to support uh, virtual reality. So that's something that should be coming. But I think the key is to not lock users 
and to a particular brand, just like how you can go buy a number of different racing wheels, for instance, the same thing should be applied to the Xbox. And I think that's one thing that would separate it from the PlayStation VR, whereas Sony is telling uh, you know PlayStation users, you gotta buy our brand VR. Microsoft could come out of the gate and announce that you could use a whole array of different VR headsets with their new platform and of course they announced just a few months ago that they had a new partnership with several different people who are creating vr headsets that range uh in the very you know low to to high end and we should be seeing more of those actually this week at ces so i think that would be one thing that could really set them apart they could say hey you can run vr on this and it'll work with Oculus or some of these other providers that are going to be making newer headsets that are coming out this year. And then if you end up buying one, not only can you use it on your Xbox, but you can also use it on your PC or even your mobile devices if it supports it. Next, I know a lot of people don't like this whenever I bring this up, but with a premium console, you should never have a paywall to access the games that you've purchased. So just how Xbox Live is free on PC, you should not have to pay to play multiplayer games on the Scorpio. Now, if you want to go pay for extra features like get monthly games for free or so-called free, you want to pay for that, have a different subscription service for that, fine, let that be an option. But paying to access a full game that you purchased is an idea that needs to die, period. Not just on the Scorpio, needs to happen on the Xbox as well. Uh, but for a premium console, if you want to you know, sell this and have an extra little feature about it that, that would sell, I would say knocking out that paywall would definitely get a lot of people excited. I also think the Elite controller or a different version of it maybe if they want to you know, try to repackage it uh, should be the new standard controller for the Scorpio. Again, they're promoting this as the so-called premium console, then it needs a premium controller. And I think putting in the Elite controller would say that this is definitely a premium package. And one thing that I would like to see is the Elite controller with a rechargeable battery and with wireless charging. Uh, for a multi-billion dollar tech company, I think it's a little past time to move uh, beyond AA batteries. Also, looking at how many companies are making products now that have built-in microphones like the Amazon Echo that seem to be doing really well, I think it would be a good idea for Scorpio to also have a built-in microphone so that you could use Cortana and issue commands to it without having to have a headset on or without having to use Connect. So those are just some of the items that I would like to see on the Scorpio. So I do hope that they implement some of these plus more because simply saying we've got a 4K capable Xbox One, I just don't think that's really going to sell a whole lot. I think they really got to sell this to people, get you to want to upgrade and explain why you will want to upgrade because it's going to come with all these nice little features and it's really a premium product. And I also think they got to keep this at or below $500. So post your wish list below and what you think of these suggestions and what would you like to see on the Xbox Scorpio. That is it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.